As we are on the verge of the 42nd anniversary of the victory of Islamic Revolution in Iran, it is important to think about some regional issues connected to this revolution. To this end, a number of Iranian and Afghan well-known political, cultural and religious figures attended the webinar of Imam Khomeini, Islamic Revolution and the matter of Afghanistan. The main purpose of the webinar is to cast light on the spread of Iran's Islamic Revolution in the world and the policy of its late founder Imam Khomeini toward the neighboring countries after the success of his movement. As attendees of this webinar say, the coincidence of the launch of Islamic Revolution by Afghans with the victory of Islamic Revolution in Iran has a proof that Iran's Islamic Revolution was not limited to inside Iran's territory. Those who were leading the Islamic Revolution in Afghanistan had close ties with well-known Muslim leaders, mainly with Imam Khomeini. The victory of the Islamic Revolution in Iran created hope among all Muslims, especially Afghans, who were under pressure by a communist regime. It also paved the way for Afghan figures to express their ideal form of government for their country. Imam Khomeini never compromised over the fate of the people of Afghanistan. He continued to support Afghan Mujahideen to the dismay of the Soviet Union. The great Imam always stood by the nation of Afghanistan. Just a few months after the start of Islamic Revolution in Afghanistan in 1979, Imam Khomeini became a popular anti-arrogance leader for not only religious figures who were leading the Islamic Revolution, but also for all Afghans. I remember how the communist interrogators were asking me about my ties with Imam Khomeini's movement when I was jailed in 1978 in Bamiyan. This was because Imam's popularity was increasing day by day. I remember that during an uprising in Kabul in 1979, people chanted, God is great and Khomeini is leader. As Imam Khomeini was winning the hearts and minds of Afghans, the communist regime brutally detained tortured and even killed tens of thousands of anti-communist regime fighters. It was in 2013 when the names of only 5,000 detainees who were brutally killed by the Times communist regime under the title of Imam Khomeini's followers were released in Kabul. Reporting for Press TV, Sayyad Amin Alemi, Kabul.